Wooden fold-up tables, iconic red plastic chairs, and steaming hot mee pok. This is 70-year-old coffee shop Hua Bi, apparently famous for being the set of Eric Ku's film Mee Pok Man. What's not so apparent? When night falls, an elusive yakitori bar with the stealth of a ninja materializes at the back of the Kopitiam. Hua Bi was leased to hotelier and restaurantier Lo Lik Ping in June last year. The 41-year-old decided to divide the 1,500 square feet space and construct an intimate-looking yakitori bar buzzing with an underground vibe in the back half. Well, the idea was to kind of keep the front as original as possible so that, you know, the, the local residents would feel there wasn't really much change to the, the Mi Pop stall as well as the, the, the Kopitiam kind of atmosphere, which is obviously important, I think, for the neighbourhood and for the local residents. So, so we, we, we looked at it and said, well, why don't we keep the front as original as possible and, and kind of do the intervention at the back. And so that's really what we decided to do. So, funnily enough, the entrance for Bin Cho is through the rear of the, of the lane and the entrance for Huawei is at the front. Mr. Lowe spent close to $300,000 to set up the dual-concept eatery, nostalgically called Bincho at Huawei. Bincho stands for charcoal in Japanese. This has been good, yeah. And, you know, obviously the local community are supportive, which is very important for us given, you know, the kind of troubles that, that, that have happened in Tiong Bahru in terms of, you know, local residents feeling that their neighbourhood has been taken over by trendy places. We didn't want to be seen as one of those interlopers, so you know we, we made kind of our best efforts to make sure that the local community would support our business and, and really accept us as part of the community. But he didn't have to worry. The diners at Bincho seem to like what they see. It's good to have the traditional feel to it. So it's nice to see the familiar kopi, you know, the kopi stand at the back there and the Milo, you know, and then you said we walk into a different world. Yeah, the old and the new, like very Chiang Baru, you know, I think I think that's probably the initial idea to preserve the old but yet still have the modern. So yeah, quite a cool place to hang out. I, I think it works as long as you have the decor right inside. Then this, this place you walk in straight away, it's got a pretty good vibe. I think it's really innovative and I like the concept of how they kept the integrity of this old coffee shop and not changed too much and built on top of it. I think that's um, you know something that should be done in relation to most of the places in Chiang Bahru. A must try is Bincho's specialty, grilled chicken, griddle style. Well, we concentrate on grilled chicken. That's really our specialty, and that's fairly unique in, in for what we do. There's not too many restaurants doing that. I think the majority of Japanese restaurants here are either in the sushi, sashimi kind of thing, or they they tend to be a fairly general generalist type of restaurant. Commitment to just doing chicken is. is, is pretty tough I think but it's not something that I think most restaurateurs would, would, would do because you know it's not that easy to make money from chicken my favorite part of the chicken is always the pie so you know I guess the way they've grilled it here makes it uh, particularly juicy because it's not overcooked I think I think people in Singapore particularly have this obsession of making sure that chicken is thoroughly cooked but that usually makes it very dry and rubbery so I kind of like the way that Chef Asai kind of has it a little bit pink on weekdays, the Mee Pok Auntie closes after lunchtime and the Yakitori bar swings into full scale. However, on weekends, the two happily work hand in hand. What's striking to me is that people are having both the Yakitori and the Mee Pok at the same time. And, and I think that's pretty cool. I, I like that a lot. Stay tuned to our next clip where we smooch with the cool crowd at coffee shop turned bar bistro Alibaba.